these tall guys. Let it be. Let it be. Right? Today's podcast, we are going to talk about <clears throat> Gabby Petito. What got me first into this true crime world. Um, you know, I've been covering a couple, actually a lot of different cases from the Kylie Rodney. Now it's this Idaho 4. But what started getting me in to true crime, guys, and I really want to talk for a few moments about this. First off, hit that like, subscribe, notification bell if you guys are just hitting that. You know what I'm if you guys are just joining the video. Got Gabby right there. The young wolf right there. Um, talk for a few moments, man. You know what got me into true crime? And, um, you know, remembering the life of Gabs. And, you know, uh, what better way? What better way? Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. All right, all right. We're back on now, guys. What better way to remember Gabby in Gabby Petito and the life? Um, what got me into true crime is Gabby's story, man. And, and I know it touched a lot of people's. Uh, it touched a lot of people's lives, and um, I want to say this: not just the actual. Obviously not the tragedy, but her legacy she left behind. And I always talk about this legacy thing, right? Uh, what what she stood for as a human being, Gabby. Um, she uh, <clears throat> she had a great personality, and um, it's funny we talk about people that we don't personally know. But we feel connected to their story and connected to them in a way where you could be honest about something. And this magnitude is someone who loved nature, someone who loved hiking, you know, taking pictures, just enjoying the fortitude and magnitude and, and, and joy, joy, joyfulness of life. And uh, Gabby did that to 100 percent. A lot of people don't understand that. Uh, um you, you, you think you feel the need to actually know someone in order to feel connected to them or or their story that they left. Because honestly, covering true crime and true crime cases in these stories is about raising awareness and justice, but learning about the victims of the crime and learning about what they truly stood for. And and uh, personally, for me, I uh, <clears throat> I'm a man of nature, adventure, right? You guys see my videos. I'm all about hiking, riding. So I felt connected to Gabby's story and what her legacy meant to me is still keeping her spirit alive, just like I do with all these different true crime podcasts that I do and um, stories that I cover. So this 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 podcast today is about um, remembering Gabby Petito each year. Um, I will do that. I will celebrate um, her passing, celebrate her her life, you know, in March, her birthday. And um, she did a lot of things, man. She went to a lot of places before she actually left this earth. And, you know, her story, like I said, man, touched a lot of lives. Little people, <laughs> little people, little kids, old adults, younger kids. You know what I mean? Like there's kids of today and, and adults of today that want to do exactly what she did because of social media, and I, and I know that the story of hers, I know that there was people want to say and speculate and say all these things about, you know, oh, the only reason why she's was popular because she had blonde hair and all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. But you know what? She touched the world, man. And to some people, she is a light for their for their routine, you know, in, in their daily life. And, and they can look up to a story like that, you know. Just like we have faith in God and we believe in God and, and we believe that, you know, what had happened to Gabby was a tragedy, right? <clears throat> About her, her so-called boyfriend did what he did. But in a way, I like to look at it as, as a positive thing. Not that what had happened to her, but her life, man, and what, what she stood for as a person. That's why it's justice for Gabs, for Gabby. We're rocking the shirt. We're rocking the hoodie, man. Gabby Tito, your your spirit will always remain, 
and uh we we always um we always going to keep talking about keeping the spirits alive of Gabby Petito on this channel. And, you know, a lot of people don't understand that. And I just want to come on here and, and talk a little bit about what got me into true crime and the story behind it. Like I said, there is uh, a lot of videos that I made that, that are unrelated to true crime and just like hiking videos and whatnot. And I still do those videos, but true crime is uh, now something that's very in my blood. And I feel like I want to talk about cases and, and being the voice for someone that doesn't have a voice anymore. And Gabby's stories touched me in a way where I felt like, man, you know, this is a this this is gonna get me into um <clears throat> like this opened the doors for me. And um it's never been about subscriber count, it's never been about money for me, obviously. I don't care about that. I care about the justice behind it and the blessings of the Lord. God bless, man, you know, and if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be here, right? That's why we say, welcome to Vinny's Talk, man, justice for Gabby Petito. She is, uh, she touched a lot of people's lives, man. Um, a lot of people's lives all over the United States, of Florida, Wyoming, Illinois, Chicago, New York, Texas, everywhere. I mean, this girl traveled all over the United States and, you know, living the van life also sparked many, many different uh, minds of the YouTubing world. And, you know, even though she had one video on her YouTube, um, I feel like that's how she got across, right? Her story. I mean, the the way she had passed was, you know, very sad. And, and many people, all y'all haters, y'all can hate on me. Y'all can hate on whatever you want. But haters are motivators, you know what I'm saying? But um, uh, today I just want to talk a little bit about that, and also what uh, got me just wanted to start doing true crime. So I definitely could say that that was a pillar to starting talking about true crime cases is the the Gabby Petito case and how long it was, how long it took to find out the truth, right? Because I already knew, I kind of already knew along that it was Brian. And what, you know, she was going through, she didn't deserve it at all. We all know this. Like I said, man, they're still fighting for justice for Gabs. You know, all this other shit, you know, all the negative talk. In the end, it's always been about justice for her and people going through a domestic abuse with their partners. You know, now that they have the Gabby Petito Foundation and all this other stuff. So I think uh, her story has touched many. And we want to remember the life of her and celebrate through <clears throat> celebrate her life through, you know, our voices and live the life fullest. Right. That's why I do. That's why I do these hiking videos, because she inspired me to want to do and live more um, this life. So I just wanted to make a cool little video and give you guys my my uh, thoughts on this and, and talk to you guys about true crime a little bit. And also remembering Gabby. We're going to keep uh, talking about cabs and, and talking about these stories like, you know, Kylie and the Idaho 4 and all, all these other different stuff. And when cases come out, we'll talk about it. If we feel these uh, cases need to be talked about, we will talk about. Um, so thank you guys for joining Vinny's Talk, man. Vinny's Talk. Rest in peace, Gabby Petito, man. We got a special coming up in March and another one for the Titanic. We're going to be doing Titanic, a podcast as well. Doing the memory and the celebration of the Titanic, the anniversary.